Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you a video and that is how to connect the Nexus 5 to the PS3 controller. Now this does not require rooting or any kind of techie thing, it just actually requires an adapter and it's plug and play. So, um, the adapter that I have here is called an OTG cable, on the go cable, USB cable. And it's very simple. This is a Samsung branded one, but I've had this one just forever. So uh, be careful with like the $2 ones you see on Amazon. I bought two of those and they didn't work. Uh, this has worked though for all of my devices. So as you can see here, regular micro USB and a regular female uh, USB port. So as soon as you plug this in to the bottom of the device right here, this is actually made to work natively with Android. So. You're just going to connect this right here. Now, important to know this will also allow you to connect things like a, you know, flash drive, hard drive, and other things like that. And now I'm using the regular connector that my PS3 controller comes with. And now when I push the home button right here, I can see that I can actually natively work with it. So as it normally does. Ah, sorry. There we go. Now it should work fine. And now we can actually play, say, like a game, like Modern Combat. And from here, if I zoom in, you can see that with my PS3 controller, I can control it very easily. And it obviously will bring a lot better experience than how you would normally play without a controller. So this is uh, really nice and uh, easy to be able to do. Of course, you just have to learn each controller for each game. And then you can actually get the hang of it and do very well with it. So yeah, that's how you actually can use a PS3 controller with your Nexus 5. If you guys have any questions about this, feel free to ask. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy.